Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. We are going to be doing something a little bit different today. We're going to be reviewing some ATC audio, what is arguably some of the worst lack of preparedness that I've ever come across in listening to ATC audio. I'm sure some of you guys have heard this. We're going to get into it, we're going to break it down, and we're going to see what this pilot should have done via media that I've generated, photos that I've taken in the real world, as well as using Microsoft Flight Simulator as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. So to give you guys a little bit of backstory on this whole situation, we have a Cessna 172 with the tail number that we only know the suffix of, that being 53 Alpha. And he is flying into Oshkosh for Air Venture, I believe this was in 2022, and he failed to read his notum, remember his notum, and he didn't bring his notum with him. And he burned a lot of valuable ATC time, both in the air, which is the most dangerous, as well as on the ground, which is more of just an inconvenience um, in doing so. So let's roll the audio and uh, take a listen. Oscar Tower, Skyhawk 3 Alpha. Uh, 3 Alpha, Oscar Tower. Yeah, we're circling over uh, New Holstein uh, Airport. Uh, we, we have a, uh, we have a uh, arrival there. We have a... Uh, the parking uh, area there reserved, and uh, I'd like to get uh, instructions for inbound to landing for uh, 5 3 Alpha. We have golf. Okay, so the first thing I want to point out in that first clip, um, and this is kind of nitpicking, but you hear him call up the tower with the last three of his tail number. Now, this is done under the presumption that this is his first call that we hear him on, and not that he's been talking to the tower before. If he has, then this is a no factor. But in a general sense, and this was taught to me by uh, my aviation instructor, when you're contacting ATC for any reason and it's the first time you're doing it, you're going to want to use your full tail number, not just abbreviated the last three. Then once the controller uses those last three of your tail number, then you can do it. So not a huge deal um, just with the volume of aircraft, but that's that's a first piece. 5-3 Alpha for Roger, follow the Nordum for the VF arrival procedure for Oshkosh, please. Unfortunately, I think I left that modem at uh, the airport. Well, I would suggest you go back and pick it up then, sir. <laughs> well, I suggest you go back and pick it up then, sir. This this controller has had a rough day for sure, and he's uh, not having any of uh, this Cessna stuff. But it is worth noting that, yes, he should have brought his notum. He should know his notum. And I, I don't know if going back and picking it up is a viable option, but I, I get where the controller is coming from. Probably a bit unprofessional, but I, I get it. Sir, if I could get some help the airport, apparently when I just called them, they said they closed at 2.30. I'd like to just get in there before it closes, please. Okay, are you familiar with where Rippon is? Rippon, uh, is that an intersection? Do you have a sectional chart, sir? Uh, I have uh, IFR is what I have in that right now, sir. Do you have a GPS in your aircraft? Affirmative. Uh, Rippon, R-I-P-O-N, uh, punch that in. That should be acknowledged by your GPS. Okay, I'll do it. So here we are in R-172. And, uh, again, if he was looking to program to rip in, all he'd have to do, do is go over to his FMS and literally type it in there. It's spelled exactly as it is in the notum. Go to Rippin. Be at 1,800 feet. When you reach Rippin, out of the northeast side of the town, there's a set of railroad tracks that comes out of there. Pick up the railroad tracks and monitor frequency 120.7. Okay, uh, go to Riffin and 1800 feet railroad tracks. Do the railroad tracks run uh, west? Rail tracks run northeast out of Riffin towards Oshkosh Airport. Okay, and I want to maintain 1800 feet up to pick up the railroad tracks, is that correct? That is correct. Fly at 90 knots, 1800 feet, monitor 120.7. Scott Tower, Scott Hawk 5 3 Alpha. Scott 5 3 Alpha, Scott Tower. It's just a question, uh, yeah, I got the instructions from the, uh, the gentleman, uh, since I'm traveling from uh, New Holstein over the lake right now, east of the lake. Uh, I'm going to be pretty much going through the airspace of Oshkosh. He wants to hit 1800 when I get to Rippin, but should I uh, be flying just normal 3500 or so to, uh, through the airspace until I get to Rippin? 5-3 Alpha, whatever you need to do to remain clear of the Delta airspace at Oshkosh, you do need to remain clear of the Delta airspace at Oshkosh on your way westbound. Uh, okay, that's what I just wanted to confirm. Thank you, 5-3 Alpha. So our pilot's now confused about uh, airspace restrictions to the south of Oshkosh. You can see I mapped out here. Here's New Holstein on the right. And I did a direct path straight to Ripon. 
all again south of Oshkosh. And the funny part here is if I turn on my airspace restrictions, I'm not saying these are one to one, but little nav maps pretty damn accurate. You can see I have my class Delta airspace restriction right there from zero to 3,300 feet. But had he gone direct from New Holstein to Ripon, he would have been in a no factor situation for this class Delta airspace. Now he would have been in the class Echo, but there's no restriction for the class Echo airspace. It's just the class Delta that he needed to remain clear of. Now uh, we're at the uh, red pond in inbound now, 1800 feet following the railroad tracks, but uh, are we supposed to be following that traffic or we just keep uh, following the railroad tracks inbound? I have to help, but just take out an aircraft. If you see another aircraft around in the lunch, you're about a half mile behind that aircraft and follow them up the tracks at 90 knots. Everybody else should be operating at 90 knots and 1,800 feet. Okay, yeah, so I, I heard that uh, several on 20 uh, decimal seven, but I, I don't see anybody, so I, I guess I'm uh, just following the railroad tracks now at 1800 feet. Yes, sir, that's correct. And keep monitoring that frequency as you get up towards fifth, they'll talk to you. They might pick you up by Cessna, they may call you by a color of aircraft, and they're going to just tell you to rock the wings and give you a runway assignment and frequency at that time. I see. Okay, so 1800 feet, just continue the railroad tracks, that's going to take you to Fisk, and then they'll talk to me at 20 decimal seven. Thanks again. 5 3 Alpha, Roger. And a right downwind for runway 18. A right downwind for 18, 5 3 Alpha. The five three alpha. Stay over the tracks and enter a right base for runway one eight right. You want a right base for one eight right, five three alpha. Stay over the tracks for a right base for runway one eight right. I want to go off you down those two copies. Left here, sir? One eight here. Uh, there's two one eights. Just continue in down on the base flight. Right. We're gonna land a one eight right and maintain at least fifteen hundred foot crossing two seven, understand. Five three alpha. Is is one eight right a runway or a taxiway? That's a runway. You'll see a blue and a pink dot on it. Is an airplane right at the end of the runway? Yeah, that's uh, one eight right. That's permitted. We should. I'm going to go ahead and uh, specify three alpha. Go ahead and change the one eight left. One eight left. Okay, one eight left. It's a taxiway. Is that right, sir? It's a taxiway, but today it's a runway. Okay, that just that really helps. So it's just too damn confusing. We keep calling. Okay, I understand. It's it's a taxiway. Above. You want me to sidestep now? That that other plane is moving off that uh, one eight right. Ground, Sky 5 Alpha. Sky 5 Alpha, this would be Whitman Ground. We're, we're just backing off of uh, 185. The best way to tell them where you're going would be to put a sign in your way and say you want to go to Basler. So, for reference, what uh, this controller is talking about are the following. I've got a few photos here to show. Um, exactly what he's talking about. It's three letter identifications, again, all explained in the notum, and it doesn't have to be a printed uh, file. It could be handwritten. I've got one here that's just uh, scribbles. Someone just scribbled their three letter code on the back of a piece of paper, stuck it up on their glare shield, and that's good enough to go. Yeah, if you're looking for the FBO or are you looking for turbo conversion? Yeah, that's on the north side. They'll flag guys will get you there, and then um, if for some reason you can't make a sign, I'm sure they'll hope you can pop a window and yell bad or and they'll know what to do. So that is going to do it for this, uh, I guess, ETC audio review. Uh, quick thing to note, please don't seek out Mr. 5-3 Alpha. Not that I think you would be able to with just uh, the last three, but that's not the goal of this video is to shame anyone. It is to educate on uh, being prepared in aviation. Aviation is one of the safest methods of travel in the known world, and it is that way because there's so many um, rigid uh, blocks in place to make sure that you're going to get to where you're going safely, whether you're flying in a little 150 or whether you're in an A380 or something in between. Um, I don't often do this. I actually really hate shilling, but if you did enjoy this video, let me know either in the comments below, leave a like, or if you are interested in subscribing, that'd be cool too. Um, this video took a lot of work. Um, not to say that my others don't, but this took a lot of work. This is probably a, I don't know, two week long project in the making for me um, in between working full time. So I would appreciate it. Obviously it's never expected, but that is gonna do it for this video. Uh, Mr. 53 Alpha, we're assuming made it safely to Basler and enjoy the air show just as i hope uh, you guys do for the 2023 season a lot of cool stuff uh on the roster 
for air venture this year um not sure if i'll be there i'm still making my mind up about that but uh, if i do and you guys see me and you happen to know what i look like or recognize this awful voice then uh be sure to say hi so that's going to do it for this video thank you guys very much for watching i do dearly appreciate it and as always take it easy